NVIDIA has just released the new DLSS 4.5 update, which enhances the previous DLSS 4 transformer model with better motion handling, clarity, and image stability. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the latest DLSS 4.5 presets, as well as going over the recommended use cases along with the performance and image quality comparisons. The only thing you'll need to download for this video is the NVIDIA app. And once you've downloaded the NVIDIA app, go ahead and open it up and come to settings, click about, and then make sure that this early access box is checked. Give it a few moments and it's going to prompt you up here to relaunch the app. And once that's done, it's going to be version 11.0.6. And that's how you know you have the beta version for the newest NVIDIA app. However, for those of you watching in the future, you don't have to do any of this stuff because on January 13th, they're going to release this officially. So if you're watching after that and you've had an NVIDIA update happen, you're already on the version that you need for DLSS 4.5. The next thing you're going to need is to come to drivers and make sure that you have driver 591.74, which does have support for DLSS 4.5 super resolution. And once that's done, come to the graphics tab and uh, pick your game and then scroll down to DLSS override model presets. Click this, click custom. And then for super resolution, you're going to see that we have all these presets. And don't worry if you don't know what all of these mean. I'm going to explain soon enough. The new ones are going to be preset L and preset M. So these are the only ones that are for DLSS 4.5 and J and K are the ones that we used previously for DLSS 4 transformer model. And now I'm going to show you what all of these mean so you have a better idea. Here are the current presets that are most commonly used. So let's go over each one. DLSS 3 is preset E and F. These were standard across many games a few years ago and utilize the older CNN model, which by today's standards is lacking in comparison to the newer models. Next is DLSS 4, which is preset J and K. These presets improved upon the older CNN model by fixing issues with ghosting, temporal instability, and improving image quality across a wide variety of games thanks to the switch to the new transformer model. And now we come to DLSS 4.5 with preset L and M. These are the latest presets with the new improvements to the transformer model, namely in terms of further reduction to ghosting, flickering, and improving general image quality, which we will take a look at later in the video. And finally, let's go over NVIDIA's recommendation for how to use these presets. Preset L was made to be used in Ultra Performance mode at 4K. However, in my opinion, it's also usable at 1440p. Preset M was made to be used in Performance mode. This is because Preset M can be significantly heavier than Preset K at higher quality options. And finally, Preset K should be used for balance or quality. This is still going to be the go-to preset for a lot of you since it's the best balance of image quality and performance. And now that you have a better idea of how the presets work, let's move on to the comparisons. Let's start with the performance cost of using the new DLSS 4.5 preset L. This is being compared to the previous DLSS 4 preset K and DLSS 3 preset E. All of them are running at 1440p ultra performance, which is 480p internally. You can see that the new preset L does have the highest performance cost out of the three. However, the image quality and clarity at a distance, especially with foliage, is improved. Keep in mind that this is 480p, so the results are quite impressive. That being said, preset K is still very viable. So choose whichever preset gives you the best balance of image quality and performance based on your hardware and resolution choice. Next, we have DLSS 4.5 preset M. We are once again comparing it to DLSS 4 preset K and DLSS 3 preset E. However, this time in performance mode. Preset M also has a higher performance cost than the other two presets. However, they've made good improvements to the image quality, so the trade-off in performance can be worth it depending on your graphics card. NVIDIA recommends that you use preset L and preset M with 40 and 50 series graphics cards, primarily due to DLSS 4.5 using the heavier second gen transformer model, which runs in FP8 precision, while older RTX cards like 20 and 30 series utilize FP16 hardware, which can be the reason why the newer presets have a higher performance cost compared to the prior DLSS versions. Either way, these things have to be tested on a game by game basis, so I would encourage all of you to at least try it out for your favorite games. And now I'm going to show you guys how to enable the DLSS overlay so that you guys can see if the overrides are actually going to work in the game that you uh, enabled it for. All right, so once you're back into the NVIDIA app, come over here to settings and click NVIDIA overlay. Uh, make sure this is enabled so that you can press Alt Z on the keyboard to bring this up. This lets us enable statistics customization. So click this and make sure that show statistics is enabled so that you can see all of these stats in game. And the important one is going to be that you come over here to custom. For most of you, it's going to be on basic. So go to custom and then press view all. Feel free to choose whichever fits your preference for whatever you want to monitor in game. But the important one for this video is going to be down here, super resolution model override. So have this checked. It's going to be all the way at the end. 
once this is enabled, it's going to let you see what preset letter uh, is active in the game. So like if you go over here to like, you know, Marvel Rivals and you set preset L, when you launch the game, it's going to say SR override preset L over here. So just just so you know that it's actually working. Um, and just to make it a little easier to, uh, to see in game, we're going to want to come over here to configure heads up display and make sure that this background opacity is like, I keep it 100, but you can keep 50 or whatever works for you just so you can see it better. And then feel free to move anything, you know, if you want it like that for some reason, you could do that. Same with horizontal position. So it's pretty cool. Cool little overlay to have if you don't have anything like MSI Afterburner or River Tuna Statistics. And that's going to be it for the overlay part. So now we're going to go and do some image quality comparisons. Here we have preset K versus the new preset L at 1440p ultra performance. At first glance, they look very similar. And honestly, that's actually a good thing so that both are viable. However, preset L is superior in terms of image quality overall with better definition of geometry, more particles like the confetti being present, and general motion stability. It's going to be hard to tell with YouTube compression, so let's zoom in and take a closer look. Now the differences should be very apparent, especially when it comes to how much clearer everything looks with preset L. There is a lot less blurring around the characters and the ghosting motion is almost entirely eliminated. While preset K does still look decent at a normal playing distance, it does suffer from disocclusion artifacts, temporal instability, and a slight blurriness to the image, but this is being super nitpicky for the sake of comparison, and preset K is still a great choice depending on your use case. And in terms of performance, at least with the RTX 4060 here, you're getting better image quality, especially in motion, for very little cost using preset L at ultra performance. Next, we have DLSS 4 preset K versus DLSS 4.5 preset M, at 1440p performance. This was the most popular way to use preset K since its release last year as the image quality and performance sweet spot for many RTX GPUs. So let's zoom in and take a closer look at the differences. Well, it's pretty much the same deal as preset L. You get better image stability, less breakup and flickering around foliage and geometry edges along with better motion handling with the NPCs you see there. Yes, it makes the game look better, but this time you are sacrificing roughly 15 to 20% of your performance However, this can vary based on your resolution and GPU. It makes sense why Nvidia is recommending preset M to be used in performance, as going up to balanced or even quality will net a higher performance cost to the frame rate, which in my opinion is not worth the trade-off, especially since preset K already does a pretty good job at balanced and quality even at 1080p. The concerning factor here is that each new preset release comes with a higher performance cost, so hopefully they are trying to find ways to retain the image quality while improving the uh, presets in DLSS, maybe DLSS 5 to be less demanding. It's wishful thinking, but you never know. They're working on a lot of stuff and things are improving as time goes on. Now for the last comparison, I figured you guys would want to see how the latest DLSS 4.5 preset M would stack up against native 1440p. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Even without zooming in, you should be able to tell that preset M is just as clear as native 1440p. However, it's actually better in terms of overall image stability, most notably on trees and foliage. So now we're actually going to zoom in again, and you can immediately see the difference. There is a lot of shimmering on the trees and foliage at native 1440p, where a lot of details get lost, whereas preset M performance, which is 720p by the way, is able to upscale the tree with near perfect stability and much better definition in terms of detail quality and image resolve. On top of that, we are getting roughly 30 more FPS with DLSS 4.5, so if you're someone that exclusively plays at native resolutions, please give preset M a try. You might be surprised at how comparable it is to native 1440p, and the added performance is always a nice bonus. And now we've come to the last part of the video where I give you my recommended presets for various resolutions. So for 1080p, I recommend using preset K for balanced or quality. Going any lower than balanced or quality in 1080p is going to look really, really blurry. So feel free to experiment with any of these presets based on your needs. And then for 1440p and 4K Ultra Performance, I recommend using the DLSS 4.5 preset L. At 1440p with the examples I showed you earlier, it did look really good. And so at 4K, it's going to look even better. Next, for 1440p at 4K Performance, use preset M. Again, 1440p preset M looked comparable to native 1440p. So at 4K Performance, it's going to look really, really good. And for 1440p balance and quality, I suggest you use preset K. Like I showed previously with the Cyberpunk benchmark, there is a performance cost to going uh, above performance for preset M. And preset K still does a really good job, especially at balanced or quality. So you're going to want that for the best image quality to performance ratio. 
All right, that's going to be it for this video. If this guide helped you out in any way, you could help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe so you don't miss more guides like this. I'm going to be testing that dynamic frame gen update when it comes out in spring very thoroughly. So stick around for that and I'll see you in the next one.